So we have effective field goal percentage and we have turnover percentage. So we have two of our Oliver Dean's four factors. We have rebounding percentage and then free throw rate next. So I know rebounding percentage is going to be really annoying. I have my equation here. It's actually two different equations. We're going to have to do offensive rebounding percentage and defensive rebounding percentage. So I'm just going to paste that into here. Come back in here, get my variables, or I'm just going to copy the whole thing actually and just copy and paste that in here. Oh goodness. Stretch this out. So that's a very annoying place to put that. I'm going to put that somewhere else. I'm going to put that at the bottom. So unlike the other two for effective field goal and turnover percentage, we can't actually use any of this because we're not counting field goals or free throw attempts. So I'm just going to get rid of all that. So we are just doing rebounds. The really annoying thing about rebounds, however, or the rebounding percentages, is we're going to have to calculate different opposition offensive and defensive rebounding percentages for each team. So that's going to be really annoying. Um, so for the player, the offensive rebounds and the defensive rebound are going to be really easy to calculate. Where row equals player. And then for the defensive rebound, it's just going to be the same thing. So we're going to swap a couple letters. So we've got our defensive rebound and our offensive rebound. So we've got this, 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 and this. We just have to get the op opposition offensive rebound and the opposition defensive rebound. So we're going to go op D rebound player equals count label defensive rebound where row equals. Now, fortunately, we have these already um, identified up here for our scripts, so I just need to put home team. It's the opposition defensive rebounds and the opposition offensive rebound. It's going to be offensive rebound where it equals away team. So when the opposition's on offense, hence out we're on defense, they're going to be getting their offensive rebounds. So now I can make the offensive rebound purse player equals, it's going to be a pretty easy equation, offensive rebound divided by, in brackets, offensive rebound again, plus the opposition defensive rebound. So that's our first one. Now the team, for the team I'm probably going to have to do two different teams. I'm going to go team one, and I'm going to go down here, I'm going to go team two, just because the um, rebounds are going to be different for each one, and especially the opposition rebounds are going to be different for each one. So I think it's just going to be easier to instead to split it into three instead of just the two. Because with the two for free throws, turnovers, etc., you don't have, like there's no real difference in the positions. The team's always going to be on offense or defense, whereas with this, it's going to be very annoying. So um, I'm just going to copy all this. And go paste. Instead of player, I'm going to go team one and team one. And instead of player, so count offensive rebound during home team, defensive rebound during away team. And now for the opposition, so it's going to stay the same defensive rebound um, of the opposition is going to be defensive rebound. That's going to be the same because it's going to be the same as our players for team one because team one is going to be our offense. That's going to have to change all this.
The other thing I just noticed, I actually need two lines of script here because I need to do the defensive rebounding percentage. Defensive rebounding percentage is defensive rebound, opposition, offensive rebound, plus defensive rebound. So there we go. Defensive rebound percentage. Might hear my dog snoring in the background. So team one, team one, team one. Now that's where it's gonna get really confusing for me because we're gonna to have to basically do the exact reverse for team two. So let me go back here, go to team two. Now before I do anything, I'm just gonna basically change all these to team two. So then I can really focus on who's in position and it's gonna really confuse the crap out of me. That's for sure. So now all that's changed. So an offensive rebound for team two. Their offensive rebounds are gonna be on the away team. So they're on defense. Their defensive rebounds are gonna be during home team. We've kind of already created this variable, offensive rebound. Like we could just use, well actually no, we couldn't use that. Well, we could use that, we just use that one right there. It's the same as this one here. But just for my own sanity, I'm not gonna basically use it. I'm just gonna basically create the same script twice, just so I can understand what the hell's going on. So the opposition, so defensive rebound is gonna be Opposition defensive rebounds are going to be on the away team. The opposition offensive rebounds are going to be on the home team. So again, we've we've just literally repeated what we've got up here. Offensive rebound on home team, away team. So we've just flipped around these, I guess. So defensive rebounding percentage. It's going to hopefully all match up. Now the show. We're gonna create two different shows for the teams because they're gonna be different. Team two. So how I'm gonna show this is I'm gonna go show round. And we're gonna go plus Plus, I'm going to go, so on this one I'm going to put the, offensive round of percentage. Really thinking, did I really have to do this twice? I was going to say yes. Might I put that there? So let's put that here. I'm going to go show round and then I'm going to go copy all that. Then I'm going to put defensive rebound there. So I'm basically going to have both in the one spot. Um, offensive rebound then defensive rebound. I don't know how I'm going to convey that. We'll see what it looks like first. Um, I might get rid of the one decimal point. I might just go zero. Save space. So I'm actually going to copy this. Copy this down. Change this to team one. Team one. And copy this down again into team two. Now if this works, I am probably just gonna go back and try and figure out how to calculate this without having to do that. So I don't have to have double the script. But um, I think it's gonna be very confusing. So get rid of that. Put 
put an error just because I don't have a T there. That's easy. Let's see if this works. So Liddell. 15 and 71, so that means he has a 15% offensive rebounding percentage and a 71 defensive rebounding percentage. That seems very high. And it's also got me concerned whether that's that's correct. But we'll go with that. We'll we'll go with that for now. Ohio State, we're gonna have 23 and 95. And for the away team, we're gonna have 5% and 77. How many offensive rebounds did they have in general? So they had two. So two offensive rebounds, 41 defensive rebounds for the other team. So that actually would probably make sense. They only got 5%. Considering that four would be 10%, so that makes sense. Seven and 23, that's a much higher percentage. 23 that actually makes sense as well so actually I'm actually happy with that I think that makes sense so I'm gonna to have to change the name though of this because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult to figure out what's going on so I'm just gonna go O percentage I'm gonna go D percentage Offensive rebounding percentage, defensive rebounding percentage. Now, can I make it so that I don't have to have the double scripts? So offensive rebound during a way team is that. Wait, offensive rebound there, so Defensive rebound for away team, defensive rebound for away team. Oh. So, defensive rebound home team, defensive rebound home team. The offensive rebound away team. Offensive rebound, away team. Offensive rebound, team two, out away, out away. It's going to replace that one. D defensive rebound team two. Defensive rebound home team. Defensive rebound home team. Okay, that's probably painful to watch on your end. Trust me, it was painful to try and figure out on my end. So let's hope, for goodness lord, that's correct. And we can find out. So home team should still be 23 and 95, and this should be like five and whatever it was, five and 77, all right. So it works. So the last one is free throw rate. Free throw rate shouldn't be too difficult. The free throw rate equation is literally just this. So, 
considering it's just that, it shouldn't be too difficult to replicate. We use field goal attempts already, so I don't need to worry about that for both teams and the player. So I just need to get the free throw makes. Now we actually already do free throw makes. Free throw makes are here. So I'm going to take that, copy and paste that in. And I'm just going to add underscore player to every single one of these. Copy, paste. So I might not even need to do that. So we can just go over here. Oh, that's not going to work. I was going to go underscore team. Sounds about, sounds about like my laptop's going to take off. We're almost done. So, just need to replace team up here with this. So I got with this, and I was going to have to create a free throw rate underscore player. As I said, it's very easy. We're just going, we're going free throws divided by attempts. And then just copying it down, swapping the player for team, and then swapping this player here for this guy here, and this here for this guy here. Now we see if this is correct, we're going to go Liddell. Liddell has a 31.3 free throw rate, so let's see if that's correct. He's got five, three, he made five free throws, goodness that's hard to say. And he had 16 attempts, so that's about that's about a third. That makes complete sense. Ohio State, they made nine free throws off 58 field goal attempts, and we got 15. So that also makes sense. Five and 64. Oh, I didn't select the way team. 7.8. That also makes sense. So there's our four factors. We've got effective field goal rate, turnover percentage, Offensive and defensive rebounding percentages, and then free throw rate for the away team, the home team, and as well as each individual player that we select. Let's just put one more player here for the, because why not? Let's just put key. So let's see what key's four factors are. Seventy-one point four. Effective field goal rate, zero turnover percentage. That makes sense considering he had zero turnovers. 8% rebounding, 75% defensive rebounding percentage, and free throw rate at 14.3. We can also check the team's def uh, defense, the rebounding rates. No, we can't actually because I didn't, um, we don't code for that, but we code for the players. Let's see if it's right up here. See, I might need to fix this because I've got different numbers up here for their defensive percentages than I do down here. So this might need to be adjusted either in the scripting up here or um, so I've got a random, much different uh, equation here. I've got time involved as well. So we've got different numbers but different equations. Maybe it's calculated differently. In different parts of the glossary. Defensive. Yeah, the defensive rebounding percentage seems different when you're calculating it um, for an individual. Yeah, so the player must be different, but we're just going to stick with the four factors method of calculating it 
um, and we're going to have a different one up here. So we're going to have probably two different percentages calculating up here. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. If you've got any questions, my email's in the description below. And that, thank you very much, and I appreciate you watching.